I realize it has been a while since I have uploaded and I need to give you guys an update. I went to the emergency room and ended up staying in the hospital for four days. It's officially day 97 since diagnosis. Yeah, I'm in the hospital. On Friday afternoon, I got home from getting more vitamin C and I began to run a fever, cropped up to be over 100.5. Technically, I'm supposed to call my oncologist if it gets over 100.5, but I was really hoping it would go down on its own. And so I waited until about Saturday afternoon at 12.30 to call them. They sent me to the hospital, to the ER, to get some blood work. Turns out, they also wanted to do a CAT scan and an x-ray of my chest. I have an abscess in the tumor area on my colon and they're more than likely going to drain that today. I've been on antibiotics all night and ibuprofen for fever reducing because my fever keeps coming back. Hopefully though, I am allowed to get up and walk around um, because I'll tell you what, sitting in a hospital bed is it gets uncomfortable just being there the whole time. It's really not too bad. It's a pretty nice hospital. Yes, that's a mini fridge in my hospital room. And it's a barn door. How cool is that? They did let my husband stay the night, but he went home this morning to let the dogs out and get um, a bag for us because it would be nice to have my toothbrush. The hospital toothbrush that I used this morning came apart in my mouth, which was kind of gross. Shortly after I filmed that video, an oncologist came in to talk with me. Not my oncologist, but one that doesn't know my full situation came in to talk with me and did not give me some very good news. Devastated me by telling me that I would basically make it to Christmas, that the abscess couldn't be operated on and that he didn't think that chemo was working. But God is so good. And the surgeon, my surgeon, called and actually came by the hospital room at three o'clock that afternoon and said, no, that that's not how it's going to be. I came home on antibiotics. During my antibiotics, I still did chemo and I've had two treatments now and I'm getting ready for my third. I was doing pretty well after my second treatment. I ended up with some really bad pain and having to go back to a liquid diet, which is what they had me on in the hospital to help the inflammation go down. I'm trying to stick with an anti-inflammatory diet because I don't have a lot of room and what I have keeps getting inflamed and causing pain. Some of the things that I have been through, I never thought that I could bring myself through. And the Lord has just carried me every step of the way and been with me through my darkest days. I just wanna thank you guys for watching and, and also for praying. I know that I would not be doing as well as I am without prayer. And as a matter of fact, I gotta show you something. There's a sweet lady that used to work for my husband at his business and she made this blanket for me and had different people from around the community. There's actually a local business that has a collection for me at their barber shop and they even signed the blanket somewhere. We love you, praying for you, get well soon. And one of my old friends that I haven't seen for years um, is on here and it was just so sweet and I wanted to share this with you. It is just such a blessing to have so many people praying for me and taking care of my family and doing so much and I'm so grateful and so thankful. I'm just so blessed. I can't even imagine what it would be like to go through this without the support that I have received from my church family and from other people. And I just wanna say thank you for praying for me. If you could continue to pray for me, I could really use it. Um, I really appreciate it. But I have two more chemo treatments left before I get another scan and see how the chemo is doing along with all of the natural things that I'm doing. I'm still taking almost all of my natural supplements. I'm working them back in. I couldn't take them when I was taking the antibiotics. 
because they weren't sure how they would affect the antibiotics and if the antibiotics would fully work the way they did, but they did. They, they cleared up the infection and so I'm doing much better and trying to stick with close to the ground produce, which is why I'm so thankful for my Misfits Market boxes. I love getting those in the fresh fruits and vegetables and um, it just makes it so easy. Sometimes I'm not very hungry to just cut a spaghetti squash in half and throw it in the oven, eat that when I'm not feeling great and I need something nutritious. Thank you guys for watching and I will upload again soon and keep you guys updated a little bit better because there's so much that happens on a daily basis and most days I don't feel well enough to even film. So I'm feeling pretty good today and I'm feeling strong enough that I can sit up and, and tell you guys what's going on. See you soon.